Would you like to have the honor of paving the way for someone else's future? Esther Blake did just that in 1948 as the first woman in the Air Force. She enlisted in the first minute of the first hour of the first day regular Air Force duty was authorized for women on July 8, 1948. She had also supported the war by working at the Miami Air Depot as a civilian employee. She joined the, women, the, women's, Air, the women's Army Corps when she was notified of her oldest son, a B-17 pilot, had been shot down over Belgium, but was quoted in the Miami Herald as saying she joined in hopes of freeing a soldier from clergy work to fight, thus speeding the end of the war. Blake had originally served in the Army Air Forces. She enlisted in Miami in 1944, <clears throat> served one year in the Alaskan Division, and was discharged in November 1945. She re-enlisted in April 1947 and was assigned to the ground forces. During the time that followed, Blake was able to see both of her sons return home from combat with minor wounds and many decorations. She had been assigned to several bases throughout the United States and the Yukon Territory. She had separated from service briefly in the mid-40s. However, she heeded a recall for women in service and returned to the Army, an assignment at Fort McPherson near Atlanta. During her assignment at Fort McPherson, the Air Force became a separate branch of service and women in the Air Force are authorized. She remained active with the Air Force until 1954 when she separated due to a disability. Blake then went to work with the Civil Service, a Veterans Regional Headquarters in Montgomery, Alabama, until her death in 1979. On October 1, 1987, the Air Force Senior NCO Academy at Maxwell Air Force Base, Alabama, named one of their student dormitories in her honor. Esther Blake has paved the way for women today in the United States Air Force.